I didn't scream at my agents, but I had just flown across the country and watched Bridesmaids. And I was like, why can't I get a part like John Hamm has in Bridesmaids? <laughs> Hi, I'm Kristen Wiig. And I'm Josh Lucas. We are going to be asking and answering some trivia questions about ourselves. And head-to-toe yeah. denim, just Ooh, for you. Exactly, which we did not choose together, <laughs> but we lucked out. In which movie did Josh star along Reese Witherspoon? Sweet Home Alabama. Duh. That was a really easy one. Are you a what? fan of the movie? I mean, yes. I've seen it. Yeah. I haven't seen it recently. <laughs> Should I have? <laughs> no. You know, my girlfriend's here, right? And she famously is not only, she's not not a fan of the movie. She was not a fan of me. She's a Patrick Dempsey complete. She thought it was terrible that I basically ruined their relationship. And so when I met her, I was like, wait, really? And she she knows like, it's she not. Was, she was like, yeah, yeah, I haven't seen it since. So I was like, okay. So we, and when I was like, well, I'm going to walk. You Everyone should, got mad at Let's you. watch this movie together <laughs> again. And she still said, no, I'm still, still totally a Patrick Dempsey fan. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> I, you know, I would love to do a sequel. Reese Witherspoon currently has control of everyone's lives, much less mine, so unless she decides to do it, I'm waiting on her. Okay, so what was Kristen's character in Bridesmaid ready to do on the plane? What, get drunk, take pills, like I'm not sure ready what the what it, what it is, but. Is that, that's in reference to the line, ready to party, I was ready to party. Oh, uh, okay. And I'm ready to party. That's Get a tough drunk, one. Take pills, yeah, yeah, whatever. but you answered. Boom. Boom. For which TV show did Josh audition for multiple times early in his career? Was it can soap opera? Yeah, give, you give a hint? me a hint. It's a very New York City show. Sex in the City. Mm -hmm. Sex in the City. I can't believe it. Very good. They're lost. Why do you think they didn't cast you? <laughs> no, I seriously auditioned like seven times. Really? Yeah, and like had multiple callbacks and still wouldn't get it. But I guess I wasn't Sex in the City material. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. What year did Kristen first attend the Met Gala? Wow. I have no idea. I have when no, was I, it? I, I have no idea. You don't even know? 2000 something. 2012. 2012. Have you been many times? I've been a, a few times. Did you have any fancy great... Outfits you wore that you yeah I mean I, that's such a fun thing to get I don't did you ever do anything like you know Jared Leto and go as like a bear no or yeah. no I didn't do that well there's always next year <laughs> I got to go to the Met Gala once and was told I would never go again because me and my friend caused so much trouble what did Truly, you do I was with my buddy Simon Hammerstein who you know I don't know if you know but we have the box together and we were just kind of particularly wild that night. It was a wild, you know how they don't feed anybody on purpose so what that everyone gets drunk? And <laughs> we, we were, we were just, bad, just bad. okay. badly behaved. Okay. And I, I was literally told, Anna Winter said, you will never go back to the Met Gala. I mean, that's kind of cool. I've never been back to the Met Gala. Yeah. I mean. It was a lot of fun though. That's good. Which 2001 Best Picture Oscar winner did Josh appear in? Wait, hold on. Was it like a military movie? No. Can you give me a hint? Uh, Russell Crowe. Gladiator? No. I, <laughs> Beautiful I Mind. Yes. Yes, Beautiful Mind. Yeah. Beautiful mind. Yeah. It was fun. And he, okay. he, he terrified me. He was both wonderful and, and terrifying at the same time. What was the name of the comedy troupe Kristen was in? The Groundlings. Yes. And I would love to know what are your favorite characters from The Groundlings that you took to audition for with SNL? Because you created um, some there. Penelope? Yes. Right? No. Um, Come on. There's Aunt Linda, famously. who's like the update movie critic, Target lady. And then I did a, a few sketches throughout that I'd written there, co-written there. Is it true you were working as a barista when you got SNL? No, I've never been a barista. What, were you working at a coffee shop or something? Nope. There was some... <laughs> Lots really? of rumors out there. There are rumors I like that, that I, rumor. There are rumors that I, I like that worked at a were, hot dog stand. What were you really doing? You weren't making a living at the Groundlings. No, I was a server at Universal Studios, actually, in the executive dining room. Okay. That was one of my many jobs. So that's... And I was a floral designer. Wow. And a nanny and lots of stuff. Were you a nanny to anyone famous? Mindy Sterling. 
shout out to Mindy Sterling. I was fired from 11 waiting jobs in a period of like less than a year when 11? I first, first moved to Los Angeles. 11. Wait, <laughs> in less than a year? Yeah, the first one Why? was... Why? What was Because the... I claimed I knew what I was doing, which I've done a lot in my life and don't know what I'm doing. I worked at a like a pizza sub shop and I had my interview outside and then some guy ran out and then the guy was like, we just got robbed. And I ended up working there. <laughs> I got the job. <laughs> okay, on which show did Josh have an onset accident that required surgery? Oh, you told me this story. You were in like a space, it was a space thing. No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> um, was it a horse? Can I, can I, I'll give you a remake. <laughs> no, it, it was your remake. back. It was your back. No, it was a God. remake of a very terrific Gene Hackman movie. You're still not going to get it. The Poseidon Adventure. Okay. But you told me the story. Yeah. And I, I was, don't remember. I was knocked off a wall by a water cannon. I was about 30 feet in the air flew backwards and came down and snapped literally my thumb off my hand. But didn't you, wait, your thumb no, came off your hand? Literally, it was, it was ripped off. It was terrible, I still have the scars, you can see them. Oh my from, gosh. Yeah, still see the scars. But didn't you also get hurt badly where you like hit your head, you hit your head really hard? Yes, I remember yes, this. that was not a surgery though, but was, okay. yeah, that was a space movie. Okay, okay. see, yeah. I, I wasn't too far off. I just get hurt on all my movies. <laughs> yeah, I was, using a large gas-powered wood chipper, basically. Just like, in your off time. Just in my your off time. time. <laughs> I was a, it, it takes big pieces of wood and it you know, splits them into four, and one of them exploded and came back and hit me right in the face. Oh my gosh. And I had that complete reconstruction. It was not, it was gone. So you it have was, really and, been hurt. And the guy said to me, I went to this very, very famous fancy doctor in Los Angeles, and he said to me, let me show you, I could give you Kevin Costner's nose. I was like, I don't want Kevin Costner's nose, I just want my nose back. He goes, look, Kevin's nose is actually better than yours. He said that? Yeah. And I was like, no, man, I want my nose back. And he was like, don't you think we could mix the two, like combine them a little bit, it'd be perfect for because I hadn't started shooting the new season yet, so yeah. So that I, is I, I, I fought with him, said, no, I want my nose back, I don't want Kevin's nose. I wonder nose. if Kevin knows is nose, his it's, it's nose. Little, his is nose being... is a little prettier than mine, I gotta say. You have a great nose. It's it's you have a beautiful nose. strong some strength too. We'll get a close up on that nose later. <laughs> Gosh, I don't know this one. What was the name that. of Kristen's tiny hand character on SNL? And the thing is, it's one of the best. And I don't I don't know. No, it's not. It's not. I know Penelope's the great twisty hair one. Um, Dunice. Dunice. <laughs> Dunice? Yes. Did you come up with that name? I don't remember. I don't think so. Dunice. Yeah, I think that you, was James Do you James know Anderson. anyone named Dunice? No. no. <laughs> so not only does she have sad little hands, she has kind of a sad, sad strange name. names. Um, okay. What two films did Josh star in that have the exact same name? I do understand that you probably know very little about my career, and there's very little reason that you would know. No, hey, I don't. Here's, I, the, here's, a, here's I, a clue. No, that's not true, but I don't know I don't know this one. Well, here's a clue. One of them was with your boy John Hamm. For some reason, I have two movies called Stolen. Two. <laughs> One's with Nicolas Cage, and it's just terrible, and it's wonderful. <laughs> I spent the entire time trying to out Nicolas Cage, Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage gives the only boring performance of his entire career because I was doing Nicolas Cage. <laughs> and Nicolas Cage was like, you've got the better part, man. And then the other one was with John Hamm, who, uh, yeah, it was lovely, actually, that one. Okay. Oh, but here's another part oh, of that. tell me, before I flick. I, the, before I got this job, mm -hmm. I didn't scream at my agents, but I had just flown across the country and watched Bridesmaids. And I was like, why can't I get a part like John Hamm has in Bridesmaids? And he's like, he's an asshole in the movie. He's like the bad guy. I was like, exactly, but he's in it. And it's a great movie. I want a John Hamm Mad Men part. My agent was like, that? so that's how it amazingly manifested two weeks later with this. Oh, that was a terrible throw. I went right down. There's a rapid fire round. And it's coming up next. Next is a rapid <laughs> fire round. Most recent celebrity you met for the first time. I don't uh, understand that question. Um, it's a double question. Margot Robbie. Favorite fashion trend. Denim. Yep. <laughs> Good answer. 
Movie you wish to star in. Just a movie that I want to star in? It could be from the past. It could be from the future. It doesn't give me any parameters Oh, I here. want to be in like a space movie. Really? Yeah. Uh, what actor are you dying to work with? Again, Russell Crowe. Guy's awesome. Current favorite song. You know what? I've been listening to Welcome to New York by Taylor Swift with my daughter, and that's a damn good song. My son would be angry. He's an anti-Taylor Swift person. B, do you want your son having millions of people coming after him? <laughs> He's an 11-year-old. I He's love hardcore. Taylor Swift. It's great. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for watching, if you still are. <laughs> We've had a ball for Harper's Bazaar. Uh, Check out our show. Palm Royale. Um, on Apple TV+. On Apple Plus. TV+. Plus.